For a second day in a row, bullets were found in a Hillsborough County school bus. Our Allison Morrow is following the latest developments and joins us live. Allison? Well, Jamison, Hillsborough County schools are already on modified lockdown all week in response to the tragic shootings uh, in Newtown, Connecticut. But school officials tell us that these two bullet incidents are completely unrelated. They have found no threats of violence or any weapons, but they do have a message for students tonight to keep this from continuing. It's the second time Naija McMillan's heard this. They found a bullet on the bus. And when we told this mother, two more today. Oh my goodness. I'm I I the really 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 I'm very scared. Madeline Rodriguez says she's never prayed for her daughter's safety like she has this week. Now two days in a row of lockdowns after students find bullets on their bus. School security already heightened as flags fly at half staff. We're on edge. A lot of people are on edge this week because of what happened elsewhere. And this is nothing unique to Hillsborough County. And this is nationwide. Hillsborough County School spokesman Steve Haggerty says this time they still don't know how two bullets showed up on a bus that made stops at both Greco Middle and Freedom High School despite hours of backpack searches and questioning students. And I was like really scared because how about if someone was threatening the buses or something like that and they're going to have a shootout or something like what happened to Connecticut. Unwelcome deja vu just a day after a Wharton High School student admitted to finding a bullet near his home and putting it in his pocket only to create a frenzy when another student discovered it later on the school bus. And because of the chaos that ensued, the school system believes today's bullets may be a copycat prank. Sadly, in the eyes of some students, it may very well be that this might seem like an opportune time to do something that is unwise to try to get some attention. I don't know that that's what's happened here, but uh, we suspect that might be what's happened. But prank or not? I don't want, even want to go to school. You don't want to go to school? No. Is that scary, huh? Yeah. Now, if school officials do discover that this incident was part of some kind of copycat prank, they say disciplinary action may follow. In the meantime, they are sending notes home with students tonight, discouraging them from making jokes about what they call a very sensitive and scary topic right now. We're live in Tampa tonight. I'm Allison Morrow, ABC Action News.